All right, welcome, kids, to a, another uh, long. I mean, it's been it's been way too long. We we should we really need to spend more time together. Uh, another Craig Mahoney video diary. Um, but as we left, I was just about to get started here. You know, let's get let's zoom right in. All right, I was just about to get started on the detail work for Mr. Yu's here. As you can see, I've gotten a lot more done with the facial area there, and we've gotten a lot of the flesh tones and everything done. And now he needs to start really going and filling out these wonderful details here. Honestly, this has been a much, much tougher job than I thought. Uh, and unfortunately, I had other things come up that, uh, no offense to uh, Zell, who I'm doing this painting for, uh, took precedence, just certain deadlines, things that really had to be met first before I could go back on this. And then, um, but now a wonderful development has happened. A, I'm finally getting on a roll here and getting into a rhythm and handling the, being able to spin uh, six or seven plates at once, but also check this out. I'm very excited, too excited. It's a little scary. This, this right here, this, uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful invention. Whoever invented this should not only be a millionaire, which I'm sure maybe possibly they are, at least a hundred thousand there, but, um, but, but they deserve, they deserve like a medal. Not only is this, is this a palette covered with paint, but the, if you get these little pieces of wax paper here, right? And and then you, you you set you wet it and you set it down on. There's a sponge underneath there, and these paints, those paints there, the paints I used Thursday night when I was doing my live paint, painting at the Blue Claws game. It's now Monday. Those paints still just as as, as wet and viscous and and lovely and and usable as they were when I first set them down. Now, why, why does this revolutionize the way things I can, I'm going to be doing things here at Craig Mahoney Studios for the summer? Because now, instead of saying, well, shit, I only have two free hours. I can't really spend it on this because, you know, I'm going to end up wasting paint. I'm not going to be, I'm going to have to put paint out on the palette. I'm not going to use it all. Uh, and then it's just going to sit there and it's going to dry. And I'm just constantly going to be throwing, literally throwing away good paint. You know, it's just, you, you can't, it's not like doing a drawing a uh, pencil drawing or a marker line drawing where you can just say, hey, you know, uh, I got a half hour, I can get a little bit of this done. If you got a half hour, you really don't have a whole lot of time to work on the painting. Now, on a day like today, when I'm doing three podcasts, and I'm doing the video, and I'm going to be putting some blog posts up, I can stop and say, hey, you know what, I'm going to do a little bit here, I'm going to do a little bit there, instead of just saying, well, I don't have a full day to dedicate to this, so I can't do it. I'm excited, I'm psyched, I'm ready to go. And also, we've got another painting that we're working on here. And the aforementioned one I worked on at the Blue Claws game, yes, it looks like complete and other crap. I've gotten some compliments on it. Honestly, I don't know what they see. Right now it looks like uh, a background for some cartoon that's been done by six-year-olds. Eventually this will all look like First Energy Park. Uh, right now it's basically... it. The canvas is completely covered in paint, which is good. That's, that's a good start. I know uh, generally where everything has to be. And I uh, have, I know what, what the colors are supposed to be. And now, now I can take it and make it a little bit more realistic. I got, took some photos at the game. I'm going to work from them. Obviously, it's not going to look exactly like a photo. It's going to be a much more uh, expressionistic, uh, impressionistic painting. Uh, never went to art school. Don't know the difference. Um, than this, which is, you know, me spending hours and hours working from a photo and is super hyper-realistic. The good news is, though, after I get... This little bad boy done here, I will be working from a photo, uh, a Ryan Howard in a Blue Claws painting, and uh, you know, show up at a game uh, further this summer and work on that, and that's going to be really cool. Anyway, I have so damn much to do today. Got podcasts to record, got this painting to work on, uh, maybe if I'm lucky, got another painting to work on, uh, three podcasts, a whole bunch of stuff to do, but I mean, things are going really, really great, and I'm excited. And, you know, you're going to be coming back to this blog in the next few days, and you're going to be seeing some real progress working. Because now, now we've gotten the tough part. And let me, before I go, let's just go in a little bit of detail about what I have to do on this painting. You can see, obviously, a space is done. You know what, though? I think, I'm a li I think the lights, the contrast in the features there might be a little too tough, so I'm going to try and lighten that up. And then you can see here, I made a mistake. Uh, his shoulder just wasn't up that high. It needed to be a little bit lower. There's a few other things that I need to work on. Obviously, put the details in the glove. The uh, For once, the, the wrinkles in the clothing are going to be the easiest part. The face really, really kicked my ass. For some reason, I just could not, could not uh, get it right. And I, as I said, it, I still don't feel it's 100% right. So I'm going to be working on that a little bit. And then, uh, I don't know. The color on the background, I might, I might tease 
play with a little. Uh, I'm not entirely satisfied with that myself yet either. But, I mean, it looks a thousand percent better than it did. So, so here we go. It's go, it's go time. It's go time. I'm excited. I'm psyched. I got I got a shitload of fucking Red Bull and iced coffee in me, and I've got I've got all sorts of new materials and fun things to play with, and all sorts of exciting things going on with with artwork and podcasts and nonsense. So thanks for watching me ramble for another couple of minutes on uh, on the old on the old video diary. You're going to be seeing a lot more of these too, because I am. Let me tell you, I I am geared up. I am psyched. I'm ready to go. I I'm so psyched. I'm talking like a bad personal trainer. That's how that's how uh, hopped up I am on just goofy goodness. I don't know what that means. Anyway, come back. Check it out. The Phil Hughes painting. We're going to get this bad boy done this week. I'm, I'm goddamn, uh, I'll do it if I have to kill myself or, or something. I don't know. That's, that's a bit extreme, but I'll sign off now. Goodbye, kids.